Hi everyone, this is Alejandra. This week I want to show you how I deal with double headers while using Power Query. If you are new to this channel, remember to subscribe and let's get this done. Here we have all our information. You can see that row 2 has our months from January to April. Row 3 has a store, employee and all the pay periods. This table contains the hours that these employees work and the stores where these employees were working at. Let's transfer this to Power Query. Let's go to data from table and range. This is gonna be my table, but I don't want to have headers because the headers are split into lines. So I'm gonna remove the check mark and I'm gonna say, okay. The Power Query editor will open and here I have all the information that I just showed you. The first thing that we're gonna do, let's fill down all the information that we have for each store. Select column one, right click, fill down. By doing this, I won't have missing information and I can manipulate this data, transposing and moving around. Next step, I need to combine these two columns for me to be able to transpose and convert this to one line only. To do that, I'm gonna select column one, press and hold the shift key, select column two, right click, merge columns. You can also do that by uh, selecting or clicking at the transform tab and selecting merge columns. Here it's going to ask me if I want a separator. My separator will be the pipe, custom and then the pipe. And I don't mind about this name for the column. I'm not going to keep it anyways. So for now it's okay to keep merged. I say okay. Here we have our information combined in one column. That means that when I transpose this is going to be only one line. Let's do that. Let's go to transform, transpose. Excellent. Oh, one thing that I forgot, I don't want to change the type at this step. I can just remove that, remove that and say delete. And it's not going to affect any of my other steps. So I always do the change type almost at the end or the closest that I can to the end. Excellent. We transpose our table. Now we have one line that we can promote as headers. Click here on this little table on the left and you can select use first row as headers. You notice that Power Query created a change type step. We don't want that user right now. I'm gonna remove it by clicking at that X on the left. Now let's fill down the months, uh, select that column, right click, fill down. Perfect. We are ready to unpivot uh, some of these columns. Select the first column, press and hold the shift key and select the second column, right click, and select on pivot other columns. Our information is looking much better. Next step, let's split this column. Uh, select the column, you can right click and select the split by delimiter. The delimiter that we need to provide here is that pipe that we provided earlier on, right here. And I say, okay, our information looks uh, in the way that we need it. You can see that we have the change type step here, uh, but it's not correct. So I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna rename the columns first. I'm gonna say that the first one will be the month, store number, employee, and the value will be the hours. Now I'm able to change the data types. Here I'm, se uh, I'm selecting the column hours, press control A to select the whole table. Let's go to transform and detect data type and I can see that that has been correct. I'm ready to pass this to Excel. Let's go to home, close and load, close and load to and here I can only create connection or I can create a pivot table or a table. Let's go and create a pivot table report from here and a new worksheet. I say okay. Here I have the employee, the hours. Let's move the hours to the value, the store, let's say to the columns and uh, let's say mm, the month to the rows. Now we can see the hours by month per store. So we can just right click here and value field settings to change the formatting. Let's select number format, let's select num number, uh, remove the decimals and use thousand separators and I say okay, okay. And here we have all our information ready to go. Um, we can also change the design for this uh, pivot table. Let's go to design, report layout and show in tabular form. 
it looks a little bit better to me and we can always uh, remove these grid lines so it looks a little bit cleaner so i hope you found this information useful if you like it please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also share with anybody that you believe can benefit from it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye bye